Today we will code a Python application using tkinter and what this application will do is it will connect to our Manage Wi-Fi platform and it will monitor open positions on that platform and I also added functionality to close positions with some settings that are specified here. So for example, if we open a position, this position is now also visible in my Python app. If I open more, these positions will also appear here. What you can also see is that the position profit is also updating real time. So whenever the profit changes the platform, this value will be updated here as well. And to close the position, you just click on a line and click the button close positions. And that way you can close your positions remotely through Python. Also here in the settings section, you see deviation. Deviation is nothing more than a parameter which is defining the maximum slippage for closing the positions. You can download the code for this application on my website for free. Just follow the link in the descriptions below. And for the rest of this video, I will explain how this application works and what you can find in my source code. So to create this app, we will import the Matrify 5 library and we will also need tkinter tk and from tkinter we also import ttk. ttk stands for themed tkinter. Before we start coding our user interface, we need to define some functions. So the first function is to get open positions in our platform. This function connects to the Manatory 5 library and is receiving positions, open positions from that platform. Then we are returning this as a list of uh, data, which will be then displayed in our application here. The second function we need is the close position, which will take uh, the ticket as an input and then close the position. This close position function is uh, coupled with this close position button in my user interface. So when we click on this close position button, this function will trigger in the callback. What you can find this function is again, connecting to Metro 5 platform, which is creating a request based on the ticket that is submitted, and then it will close my open position. Here, we then initialize MT5 platform. So this way our Python script is connecting to Metro 5. To create our GUI, we create a variable root and the root is equal to tk.tk that is creating our graphic user interface. And I'm defining a geometry 400 to 400. So this is the size of my TK inter application. Also, uh, you can see that root.attributes I've defined topmost is true. So what this does is uh, when I open a new window, for example, my IC markets platform, my GUI application will always remain on top of all windows. So this is uh, very nice to have whenever you always want to have your Python app visible. So uh, then uh, we create a title for application. So I've named my application close positions dash trigger pi. So this line here is representing this line here. Then I'm creating the login label and server label which are here and here. And the values of the login server label is taken from a 5 uh, library. So mt5.accountinfo.login will return the login number and mt5.accountinfo.server will return the server name. To make uh, these labels visible, I use a uh, pack, which will uh, then make our labels visible in our GUI. So login label uh, dot pack will display the login here and server label dot pack will display the server name here. Also to add a separator, I've added a separator here, which is this line here. Uh, that is uh, TTK dot separator and we orient it horizontally. And to display this uh, separator, we use pack and we fill the separator across the entire horizontal axis. Uh, to add a label for open positions, so here, th this is the open position label. We use the same concept as before. So we use ttk.label and uh, we pass this text here, which is this text here. Then we expect it to show it. 
Now for the list of positions, uh, this one is a bit more advanced. So the list of our open positions will be saved in a string variable using tk dong string var. And to get the list of open positions, we pass in the value and the get open position function. Remember, get open position was defined here at the start of the code and it is connecting to my try 5 platform and returning a list with data of our open positions. So again, uh, to show the example, if we open a position in our MetaTrader 5 platform here, a new position will open. So that uh, opening of the position will trigger the get open position here. So uh, next thing we will have a look at is the list box. So this list box is this white window here. Is This is the place where your positions will be shown. Here uh, we define it with tk.listbox and the list of uh, data uh, is defined in post list here. So this, are the, this is the list of own positions. And I have uh, added select mode extended. What select mode extended does is, is that it allows you to select multiple uh, rows by, for example, clicking control plus left click. And now we have two positions at the same time. This allows us to close multiple positions at the same time, like so. Next, we have the close button. So the close button is this element here. And this is defined using ttk.button. The text of this button is close position, which is this. And whenever we click on this button, it will trigger a command close positions. So when we click on close positions, it will close our positions and trigger this function here. And this function is looking at the selected uh, positions. Right now I don't have any, so let me open a few more. So the close button will trigger this function here that uh, is looking at the blue selected uh, lines and based on which one is highlighted, that position will be closed. Also, I'm adding a sep another separator with uh, sep2 is equal to ttk.separator, uh, same concept as with the first one, and the label is uh, settings, which you can find here. Deviation is a parameter that's important, uh, for example, for orders where you want to define a maximum slippage between the requested price and the price that bro the broker can fill you. So if the requested price is too far away from the current market price, that position would be rejected so you wouldn't get too much of a slippage. And to create uh, this uh, deviation element here, we created a label with deviation and for the entry, here you can define your own parameters. So for example, if you don't want high slippage, you would, for example, only set the deviation to 10. By default, in this line, I've set the default to 20. And this deviation entry will then be passed to our close function here. So this will be passed inside our request dictionary that will send the request to the military 5 platform. Lastly, uh, we want uh, this application to update real time. So what I also created is an update function that will check the open positions periodically. So our position list is equal to tk.stringbar. And here with this uh, get open position, I always get uh, up to date positions. And then I am updating the values inside this list box here by passing the new values from the pause list. Root.after will uh, then trigger, so every 100 milliseconds, uh, the, the open positions will update, and that way we can make sure that uh, what is displayed in open positions is in sync with our MetaTrader 5 platform. So then we, of course, have to run this function. So we uh, here specify update. And then to start our application, we have to type root dot main loop, which will open this window. This is it for the video. 
Again, you can find the code on my website by following the link in the descriptions. If you have any suggestions for new app ideas with TK Enter, please let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.